For this design, we are gonna use chicken wire, a wooden base, feather moss, this is the same one that we use for the fresh flowers arrangement. And then I have here the silver dollar eucalypt and color it in burgundy. Um, I have the flowers, the, um, I don't remember the name of the flowers of the field, but I'm gonna put in that. Then I have roses, uh, I have small roses and carnations. All of these elements, including the fillers, came from solar wood. And from my side, I decided to add pampa grass. As you can see, all the stems are already prepared. All the stems has wire, and the wire has been wrapped up in floral tape. The colors has been created for me, but I'm not gonna show that part because the video is gonna be really long. But I, for sure, I'm gonna put the information of the video or the link of the video where I show how I get um, these colors. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna start working with this. Usually, when the people try to work with artificial flowers or at least uh, no fresh flowers, the, 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 the people use this uh, foam. Um, this is only for uh, no fresh flowers. It could be for dry flowers, for plastic or silk, or for uh, solid wood flowers as well. That is an option, but I'm not gonna use that idea now because I try to get involved more in the green style. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how to use the chicken wire and the moss to uh, start working with this uh, base without using the foam. Today I will need to use uh, this towel because the moss is gonna drop a lot of little pieces, it's gonna be a mess, and later it's gonna be way easier to uh, clean it up everything. Okay, uh, this is the chicken wire, it's big for the size of the base that I have. So, what I need to do is just uh, cut in the, in the length that I need. It. It doesn't have to be exactly because it's wire, so you're gonna be able to uh, reduce it or make it longer, so it's uh, easy to work with. Uh, sometimes the people use a specific glove for this, but uh, um, I don't. But uh, if you want, yes. If you want to take care of your hands, or um, you, I recommend you use the the glove for this, but I'm not used to this, so no big deal for me. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the moss and I'm gonna put inside of the chicken wire. I know that it's gonna drop all over because the whole of the chicken wire are bigger than the small pieces of the moss, but it doesn't matter, I don't, I don't care because that is no a problem for us. And then you are gonna have to put it inside. Okay. Once you have inside, that's all that you need to do. As long as you keep adding uh, flowers and leaves and more other elements, the chicken wire is, is not gonna show up at all. Actually, it doesn't show up right now. I can't see it. The other important uh, point or the other tips that I want to give you is if you want to make a centerpiece that the flowers coming down from the edge of the base, you have to elevate a little bit the uh, mechanic that you put inside of the base. Mm, it doesn't matter if it's moss or oasis or foa. All we have to be a little bit taller because in that way you're gonna be able to put right here or taller right here and the flowers in this case has wire but if you put it in that angle the uh, you're gonna get the effect that you're looking for um, because I use wire for everything it's gonna be easy for me but I, if I see that it's too long I have to uh, cut it some of the pieces that I have 
uh, I'm not a weak wire because I want to keep it like that. And those are gonna be the first ones that I'm gonna be using. So the first thing that I always do is decide the size of the centerpiece. Obviously, everything based on what your customer wants or what you want to have in your house. So that's probably going to be the longer. It doesn't have to be exactly in this, in the, in the middle of the side of this. Remember that we'll try to uh, work uh, in a natural way. We try to get a natural look. And little by little, I'm going to find the size and the shape. You see, let me move this a little bit over there. Let me show you how this line is coming down and it's long, really long. So if you're gonna put this on a table, first it has to be a rectangular table and second, you have to uh, be sure the uh, size of the, the table because this is gonna be easy um, to fit long. Rectangular, I go down in the front and the back with the shorter. Go down, I mean, I try to get this shape. And I decide how tall I want to have the centerpiece. Um, when are you gonna uh, prepare centerpieces for uh, put directly on the table? Uh, so that those ones that are not gonna go on the on the top of some bases. Uh, remember that it has it has to be um, not too tall because there will be a problem for the people be talking about them. So do not become your centerpiece a problem for the people and the table. If I see that I'm gonna need more later, I'm gonna keep adding. Now what I want to use are the other leaves that I, I really like, is the silver dollar eucalypt that are at this moment, this is uh, tinter from solar wood. If you see the green floral tape, don't worry because still we have to add too many other things. No, this is for the last moment. I tried to say the a smaller leaf, I shouldn't put this here, but I, okay, I already did, for the, at the end of the uh, centerpiece because um, that is going to help me to put among the flowers. Now I'm going to start working with the flowers. Um, I, as always said, I pick the biggest at the beginning. The wire is fantastic because you can use the wooden stick as well, but I like the wire because it, you can put the, the, sorry, you can move the flowers in the way that you want.
I'm gonna stop right now with the flowers because I have another things that I want to put uh, like the pantagrass I have three colors of pantagrass burgundy uh, this is blush pink and pink but actually it, it is flash pink as well.